All right, getting a little early or late, rather, start today. Uh, <laughs> there's this post on the internet. I won't call out any names, but it was funny. It was like, uh, apparently Kroger was like paying their employees some hazard pay. And I get, I would assume just because of my uh, knowledge of how companies roll and how payroll rolls, they're going to have some kind of set amount. They're not going to just, all right, we're going to give you some hazard pay, but you're not going to know what it is. So obviously there was a set amount. So I was seeing a post of outrage uh, with a picture of this like letter from Kroger to their employees. And it was like, hey, uh, as of like this date, you were overpaid for your emergency. Uh, forgot what the terminology they used. Uh, the, your hazard pay or whatever you we overpaid you for your hazard pay and then this post was like oh what the fuck they're asking for their money back and Kroger's like saying hey we know like you may not be able to pay the money back in one sitting you can pay it back all right now or two payments of this or three payments of this like being nice about it like we accidentally overpaid you some money we're gonna get that back so Instead of making you pay it all right away, like, here. Shut up, you. Go eat your steak. Uh, so it's like, they're going to get the money back. So they're even trying to be nice and letting you do it uh, in stages so it doesn't, like, bust your ball. But, <laughs> but, stop! I'm making a video, ho. Yeah, she always turns her back, walks away, be silent for a second, and then, like, gives me a little fuck you meow on the way out. But it was like, I don't understand these people's entitlement these days. It's like, you are getting free hazard pay. Like, we appreciate the, your work you're doing on the front lines. That's cool. You are getting hazard pay, free money for it. They accidentally give you too much free money, and then you're going to complain and be like, oh, well... The CEO, Kroger, makes a billion dollars profit each year. They can afford to just... It's like, not, that's not how the world works. If I'm going up to a homeless man, I'm like, here, homeless man, here's this $20. And I accidentally hand him two stuck-together 20s. Bro, I'm asking for my fucking 20 back. Like, I'm not a dick for asking that. And the homeless guy isn't entitled to the extra 20 I gave him just because I'm better off at this time than he is. So it's like, people's entitlement is crazy, but... Back to the non-political type stuff. Uh, another, a little, another little lesson right here. How down there we were talking about uh, uh, when you see metal stop and things like that. So that's uh, this will be a lesson more of like reading, reading your your body work. So this black stuff right here is not paint. It's actually guide coat. It's a black powdered charcoal and. It goes on the panel. Once it's on the panel, when you bring your flat block over it, you see how, all right, so I had the block pressed down flat. I went down the panel with it. The sandpaper did not touch anywhere in here. You don't see any scratch marks. Scratch marks, scratch marks, you see they stop. They stop. So all this right here is low. It means that this part of the block if you look down at it like this, you can probably see the air gap in there. So, but that would worry me a little bit like, uh-oh, uh, why after I wiped, is it still this, still this out? But the way that I had the block, it's going in a, in a big area, which I've not sanded. Um, so uh, that, that's a reason for that. And it is low also. So, but we had this area really uh, tin canning out and uh, I'm ready to get this car done. So, uh, so anyway, so the guide coat goes down. The guide coat, here, can I use you as guide coat? No, okay. Uh, black hat, black guide coat, thought maybe it'd work. But all right, so the scratch marks, the, the, the sandpaper did not reach right here. So this area is low. So because I'm already metal here, I can't, I can't sand this area. However, we're talking about just because you've hit metal or, um, 
it doesn't necessarily mean you have to stop it. You do have to get out of that area. And because this area, even if I had the four inch block, I'm, I'm still going to be hitting here. So that's going to have to be wiped again. It's like you just leave it alone, wipe it again, and uh, we'll block on it some more. I can press a little from the inside. Uh, I can uh, sand down the middle a little bit more. I mean, yeah, see, that, that stuff's so weak right there. I don't know why they... There's, there's some things in this car, it's like, well, that's kind of a meant, to, a meant to last type thing. And then they made it out of this flimsy ass metal, but uh, shh. So I'm gonna get the bottom of this fender wiped, this middle section wiped. I'm gonna tap down these high spots with uh, either a screwdriver, uh, a pick something like that just bring this area down I don't want to tap it with a hammer these aren't really big areas if I tap it with a hammer I'm gonna have a dent out to here and then that's not what I want I want to just bring this area down a little bit um, to um, be able to wipe this again it, it actually uh, it's funny, it looks all bad, and then you grind it, and you wipe it, and you kind of get a basic shape back, and you're like, oh, okay, I can salvage it, that's fine. So, <laughs> another thing that I was thinking about was how I can run my hand down this entire panel, and it feels good. The only parts that feel ugly to me and wonky are these high spots, which leads me to believe that, one, these were probably spots where I pinned and pulled out, and it made a nipple, and made this higher than it needed to be. But since I can rub my hand down this whole panel and it feels fine, I find it hard to believe that the whole panel would be super straight and in. So that doesn't really make any sense. So the whole panel is where it needs to be, and I've just got some high points, which means that theoretically, what I could do, I mean, I'm already starting to peek that through to the red underneath. So this is already where it needs to be. This is not thick Bondo. I mean, this is just right here. But what you could do, if this, if this happened just after a little bit of sanding, what I could do is I could tap these down with a pick or a screwdriver or just tap it down with something. You've got to be very, very careful because if, if you tap them down too much, because they're built up, they're really strong. So when you hit them, they usually don't just dip in. They dip their whole area in. So there's, I haven't been able to do it a lot of times. Maybe I'll eventually find the finesse to be able to do it. But in theory, you could tap those down and then continue to block this area. You would just need to watch when you tap it down, sand over that area and make sure that little circle doesn't grow. If the circle grows any, that means that you didn't tap it down low enough and it's still getting hit by the sandpaper. So I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> do some sand and do some wiping and uh but we're we're doing good i need to wrap this video up but we're doing good this side really is coming together really quickly um i'm finding a lot more confidence in being able to just i'm not just burying the panel in filler but i'm i'm glazing the whole thing and it makes it i'm i'm finding more comfortability say that five times fast comfortability uh, with not using the metal and other things as references. Just using feel, using guide coat, but not needing the metal to, uh, to tell me everything. Because obviously if I had a dent right here and I sanded it, and then you would just see this perfect area of nod sanded paint. And it's like I've got metal all around it. I know where I'm at. If I wipe the area, in theory, if I... If I uh, sanded it down, I should only see an area of filler left. That's, that's all on paper. It doesn't really work that way. With the flex of the block and the flex of the metal, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, but this is coming together really quickly, actually. So the roof's done. Pretty much that whole other side's done. The rocker's going to take some work. I'll work on that today. But I want to get this fender pretty... This whole fucking fender is going to be wiped, which... Again, it, we're trying to save the fender and not have to buy another one. So, uh, let's uh, let's get back to work and uh, see if we can get this car closer to primer today. <laughs>